guys, it's Skyger here, and today we will be doing a video on the pros about being a famous jammer. Now, this video is like a, a, a I don't even know, like a prequel, I guess. <laughs> it's it's one out of two videos. There's gonna be a cons video for this too. So it's basically this video is the pros of being a famous jammer. Um, I am in no way trying to like call myself a famous jammer or like you know, make myself seem so big because I know for a fact that I'm not. 3,000 is a very small number to me, but it means it means a lot, trust me. If you don't really know what a con it or what a pro is, it's just basically the, the good things to being a, a famous jammer. So, first of all, I have the fans and being idolized by, by people. When people say, for me, when people say, oh my god, you're my idol, oh my god, I love you, blah 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 blah, it means a lot because who doesn't love being told that they're loved honestly <laughs> if you don't like when people say that they like you then I mean you're allowed to to be like that but still I love it personally and I know a lot of other famous people uh, famous jammers like it because it's just the best feeling in the world knowing that people look up to you and people you know like you <laughs> so yeah that's that's one of the one of the the big pros for me. Um, another thing is some of the, some fame jam well can't talk. Some famous jammers get money for their videos, and that really helps for like for college. I personally would save up for college for it, or you know some people just do it for personal needs, which which is okay too. I mean you can do what you want with it as long as you're happy, honestly. So that's another pro, the money I guess. Um, tell me your opinions on that because I know a lot of people like. A lot of people don't like the fact that some jammers do it for money, and some people think that they only do it for money, and personally, I think that's kind of screwed up, because you need to put your fans first, and you don't need to, you don't need to, like, worry about money and all that, that's just, that's just my opinion, but, I mean, do what you want, I guess. It's screwed up, though, so. <laughs> um, another thing is the gifts, and your rarity is increased by those gifts. I personally do not like to accept gifts. I, <laughs> when Winterjoy joined my sc my uh, live stream, my most recent one, and she gifted me that black short wrist, I wanted to gift it back more than anything, because I hate gifts. I, I mean, it's a nice thought and everything, but you spend your own personal time on that, and then you're giving away that time to someone, and I know maybe it makes you happy to do that, but I just personally, I don't know, I just, uh, it's so hard, it's such a hard topic for me, but other jammers the only reason i can see myself accepting a gift is to give it away because right now i have all this stuff on my trade and i'm being very really picky on what i accept it for because i want to get something big and i want to be able to do giveaways for you guys see i have all this stuff some of it is from uh what should we call it adventures the eagle Ad no i don't think any of this is from the eagle adventure i think this is from the eagle adventure i'm not sure though um, but yeah, the only reason I can see myself accepting a gift is to give it away or to, you know, hold it as a, as a prize or something. And I know some people do that. I know Apari, he does like give what? Sorry, that was a hiccup. Uh, I know he does like giveaways and all that, but I know. I, I would do that. I personally would, but I just, I don't like accepting gifts. I mean, that's just how I'd go about that. But yeah, you get rarer because of your fans, you you get all these gifts, and it's a good feeling. Um, the fourth thing we have here is that you get to go to special events. Now for you, those of you that didn't know, the famous jammers, six famous jammers, it was Bepper, Animal Jammer, 330, uh, Twinkle0122, Apari, did I say Apari already? Bepper and Apari? Yeah. Um, Snowy Claw, and yeah. I think that's it. It was six. I think that was six. I don't know. But yeah, you can go check that out. I know if you um, have an Instagram, you can keep up with them because they, it's over already. I think they're on the plane by now. It's the 26th um, when I'm recording this. And, yeah, anyways, you can go check out their Instagrams and um, yeah, they posted a lot. I kept up with, with Bepper, I think, and Wisteria Moon. Um, I'm not subscribed or like following Apari or any of that. I don't think I'm following Animal Jammer. I know I'm following Snowy Claw and Twinkle, I want to say. But yeah, they they went to VidCon. I bet it was the best experience. It would be amazing to go. I That's something, that's like a bucket list for me. And I know that's like so far-fetched and such like 
such a big goal, but <laughs> yeah, I just think personally, if I were to go, I would be like eternally thankful to Animal Jam, and it's just, that's just amazing. I think it's like the best feeling if you get invited to something so big like that. So that's the second to last one, and the last pro to being a famous jammer is you get more credibility. So if you hold an art contest or you're going to do some big trade, sorry, I forgot to keep moving around, um, then you normally have more credibility, I guess. It really depends on who the jammer is, but when you're famous, I guess, people trust you more because you're like, if you screw up, then it could like ruin your fame or... It just it really depends on who the famous jammer is, because I know some people don't really care about their fame. Yeah, I know some people, it just increases credibility sometimes. It really just depends on who you are. So uh, yeah, those are the five, I want to say that was, I forgot, I closed the thing already. Um, pros to being a famous jammer. Do you agree with any of these? Do you disagree? Please tell me in the comments below. Do you think I missed any? If, you, if I did, then please tell me. Um, and I will add it to the description probably. I'll be, I'm gonna list all of them in the description. Mm. Yeah, all the ones that you guys give me. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys, and I really hope you enjoyed, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! Have some ice cream on the way out.